Today's video features easy magic tricks that you can do with things you have at home. The disappearing crayon trick. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, you will observe that in my hand I have a full pack of crayons. These are ordinary crayons that I got from a children's birthday party. But now, if we say the magic words, I will make the crayons disappear. <gasps> wow, and we didn't even say the magic word. <laughs> Good, huh? So how is it done? How did those crayons disappear from a perfectly ordinary box? For the disappearing crayons trick, you don't need very much at all. You just need a pack of crayons. And we're talking about the actual packet. These are the type that you often get in a party bag and they've got a little window so you can see the crayons through the window. You also need some broken crayons. So I've got loads of old broken crayons kicking about. And I never throw anything away because I always think things will come in handy. They are perfect to use. And as well as that, all you need, so easy this, is a pair of scissors and also some sticky tape. So what we need to do first is we need to make the pack of crayons look like they're full. So it might be nice to get bright colours and line them up. Now, because my broken crayons are from different sets, what I think I'm going to do is take off the paper around the outside because I think that will look better. Look, I'm putting all of the primary colours in and green as well. And let's stick in a purple. There we are. So I've got enough broken crayons that will fit the width of my packet. So next, what we're going to do and so we're going to line them up. Actually, I think I might keep the labels on. I've had a change of heart. So I'm going to get some sticky tape and I'm going to stick the lined up crayons together so they're all in a row. Here we go. Next, I'm going to pop them into the box. So now, hopefully, that will make the box look like it's full. And there we are. And then shut the box up. Oh, make sure you put the sticky tape on the back so you can't see it through the window because that is gonna give the trick away. So slide the crayons in. There we go. And then shut the box up. And there we are. So now I look like I have a full packet of crayons. That's really easy. If you apply a little bit of pressure here, the crayons aren't going to drop. But if you take the pressure away, the crayons disappear down the box. And then you can reset the trick by turning the crayons upside down. So now to perform our trick, we show our ladies and gentlemen a full pack of crayons. Then we put our hand over the crayons. But as we're doing it, we stop applying pressure down here so the crayons fall. And then when you move your hand, the pack will look empty. So shall we give it a go? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you will observe that in my hand I have a full pack of crayons. These are ordinary crayons that I got from a children's birthday party. But now, if we say the magic words, I will make the crayons disappear. <gasps> wow. And we didn't even say the magic word. <laughs> Good, huh? The disappearing ball and cup trick. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to push this pom-pom ball through the table. I'm feeling really strong today. It's a solid table. There's uh, no tricks here, no trap doors. I've just put that paper down to show the trick up a lot better. In fact, I'm feeling so strong. I'm going to push a ball and a cup through this solids table. Push them right through uh, so they fall right beneath it. Um, the cup is empty, I'm just going to show you again. So we need some magic words for this. I'm going to take all my strength. Okay, so I'm putting a paper over the top and I'm going to push, push hard through the solid table. Push hard, push the ball through, push the cup through, through the table. And oh, it didn't work. How weird. But hang on. The cup has gone through the table. That is amazing. Look, the cup is here. How did I do it? That's magic. 
But how does the cup go through the table? So for this trick, all you will need is a cup, a plastic cup. You could even use a glass, a see-through tumbler, which might make people think that there's more reason to have the paper um, to stop things being visible. So a cup, a pom-pom ball or any ball, you could even use a Lego man or just a little toy, anything that will fit under the cup because it's not going to disappear. And then a piece of paper and a table, that's all you'll need. But how is it done? So how is the trick done? It's such a clever trick. Magic is all about misdirection. I was never intending to push this ball through the table, but the cup is the real magic trick because the cup does end up going through the table, but how does the cup go through the table? It is a solid empty cup, which we do put on a solid table and a proper ball. What happens is when you bring your paper into the mix, just a normal sheet of A4 paper and push it over the cup, the paper will take the shape of the cup. We then take the cup and the paper off to look at whether the ball's disappeared. <gasps> the ball's still there. People are being directed to noticing, oh no, the ball's still there. While they're being directed to noticing the ball's still there, I can let go of the cup. Did you notice? The cup was still in my paper, but I just released while people weren't looking. So the cup fell out into my lap. So you do that such that people can't see. And then you go back and you go, hang on a sec, the cup has gone. And people wonder how the cup went because they think it went through the table because the cup keeps the shape of the paper people think it hasn't disappeared and they're busy thinking that the ball hasn't disappeared while you slip the cup away and then you show them the cup has indeed disappeared how clever is that the appearing coin trick for my next trick i am going to make something appear I've already made something disappear. Now it's time to get something to appear. So I have nothing in my hands here. And this is just a regular drinking glass. Um, a tumbler would also do the job. And now I am going to get a piece of paper. It's a regular piece of paper. It's got a cookie comic strip on, but that's all. I'm gonna say the magic words. And <gasps> a coin has appeared. How did that happen? For this trick, you will need some sticky tape, some scissors, a coin, a drinking glass, a pencil, and two pieces of paper that look the same, one big, one small. First up, take your glass and your smaller piece of paper, which matches your big paper, and then you're gonna draw a circle around the rim of your glass hope you are managing to guess why we're doing this. So I'm drawing around the rim of the glass with my pencil so that there's a circle the exact size of my glass and then I'm going to cut the circle out. So there we go. Just cut it out and it should match your bigger piece of paper exactly because otherwise the trick won't work. There we go. Then next all you have to do is take your glass and do you see how the trick works? Yeah. Stick the circle on to the bottom of the glass and so you can do that by just using a few tiny bits of sticky tape and it totally won't show. Note that the sticky tape is hardly visible. There's two tiny tabs there, but no one's gonna notice when you do your trick. So next, all you need to do is put your glass down on the paper and it looks like the glass is just a normal glass on the paper. You cannot tell that that circle is there. And then all you need to do is put your coin down on the paper, put your glass over the coin, and then get your magic paper to uh, cover up what's going on. Remove your glass, and there 
we see that there's a coin there. Take care when you remove your glass not to remove it like that because people will see. So you remove it angling it the other way. And that is your coin trick, how to make a coin appear and disappear again as well. So no magic set is complete without a card trick. And I'm lacking a magic bunny too. So maybe I need to do some magic. <gasps> Where did you come from? Magic class. Okay, Mr. Magic Bunny, are you going to do a magic Ooh. trick for me? I have these cards. Brilliant. Let's turn them. So, yep. is this what we're doing the magic trick with? Okay, great. We're going to do it with some cards. Can I just check they're regular no. and show everyone that they're regular cards? She said dropping them all. Uh, yep, okay, they look pretty ordinary to me. Voila. I'll just give them a little shuffle and I shall hand them back to you, okay? Okay. Okay, choose any card, don't. Okay, move your hand away so I can just look for a card. Okay, gonna go for one right in the middle. I'm gonna go for that one. Okay, shall I, shall I have a look at it? Yep, and show the people who okay. are watching. Okay, great. And shall I put it back now on the top? Yeah. Okay, now what shall we do? So, now, mm. you have to tell me how many times shall we cut the deck? Uh, three. Three times. Cut the deck three times. One. Can I cut it one time? Okay. Two. Okay, go on then. And three. Okay. Okay, now I'm trying to find your card with okay. my mind. You're going to find my card with your mind? Yes, in Ooh. this mind. <laughs> okay. Good luck with this. Can you help me? Yes, shall I fan the cards out? It's uh, quite a lot to hold in little hands and you have a look to see if you can see them. Enjoy, hang on. I'll fan it out like this. Okay, going all the way through. Can you see my card? There's so many cards, 52 in a deck. Oh, I think I you see you seen it? one. Did you see it? Yes. Oh. Oh, Good. no. That's all right. Which one is it? This one. <gasps> that is... Magic, well totally done, magic. magic. Totally magic, well done, magic bunny. And this is magic too. Bye. <gasps> so how is it done? Well, it's pretty simple, really. You get the pack of cards and you make sure that whoever you're playing the trick on shuffles it so they know it's a regular pack of cards. And then at some point in the trick, before you cut the cards, you need to remember what's on the bottom. So just sneak a look subtly whenever you can before you cut the cards. Uh, get someone to uh, choose any card. So for instance, if they were to choose, say, the Ace of Diamonds, they would take it out. And then they put it back on the top of the card. Then when you tell someone, how many times would you like to cut the deck? It really doesn't matter because after you cut the deck the first time, the chosen card will always go underneath the card that you've remembered on the bottom of the deck. So I know that the chosen card will be to the right of the jack of clubs when I later go through the cards. So we cut the deck again and then we cut the deck again. It's highly unlikely that the two cards will be split up because there's 52 cards in the pack. So then when we look through our card, we just need to look at whatever's to the right of the Jack of Clubs. And there you'll see it's the Ace of Diamonds. That is the card that was selected. It's a very clever trick and people can never work out how it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, for my next trick, I will make a handkerchief appear from out of a cardboard tube. I'm pulling my sleeves up so you can see that there's nothing up my sleeves and I can't get anything from up my sleeves. And then I'm going to show you this cardboard tube that I have. 
I can put my arm through it. There's absolutely nothing in there. But now, if we say the magic words from out of this totally empty cardboard tube, I will magic a handkerchief. Magic, 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 yeah! Da -da -da -da. And how do I do that? But how is it done? Well, the secret is in the tube and I'm gonna show you how to make one now. You will need two pieces of identical cardboard. I'm using uh, envelopes because I don't have any cardboard and I will be reusing them afterwards so they get multiple use and are recycled after the trick. Um, some sellotape and some scissors. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make our cardboard tube. So what you do is you roll your card into a tube like that and then you stick it in place with your tape so i'm going to put a bit of tape on the end here there we go and a bit of tape on the opposite end here and there we go, that's what you need to make your basic tube. There we go. But how do we get our hanky out of the tube? What you do is you take the second piece of card and you make another tube to put inside your first tube. Just insert it in right the way along. And once it's in there, no one will know there's two tubes if you tape up or glue these edges together so I'm just gonna quickly do that now just tape these edges together to get rid of them so you'll see that as soon as you bend the tape over and seal it already you don't really notice so you need to work your way all along the tube getting rid of the inner edge so there we go i've more or less got rid of my inner edge just one little bit to do over here stick my tape down and voila inner edge has gone so nobody would really notice that this tube is constructed out of two pieces of card next what you need to do is get your hanky and then at the back where the tube isn't quite stuck together neatly push your hanky down the tube there we go right the way in so no one can see and then once you've done that you can just flatten your tube back out so then you're ready to do your trick with the hanky set in there you show everyone your empty tube, you look through it, you put your hand through it, and then you do the magic and pull out a hanky from it. How good is that? Good, huh? Hope you enjoyed the tricks. Please spread the word and please subscribe. Bye.